Hello and welcome to part 4 of my mini-series of how-to security videos, where I'm going to show you how I configured RADIUS authentication using PEEP from Windows Server for use in Brother training environments. Please note that it is a continuation from parts 1, 2 and 3, so unless you are watching this as a refresher course, I recommend you watch them first. Links to them can be found in the description. Let's get started by creating a PEEP network policy. From the Microsoft Network Policy Server, I am going to expand the Policies drop-down and then right-click the Network Policies option underneath it. From this menu, I need to click the New option, where the Network Policy Wizard will load. I am going to give my PEEP policy an easy to recognise name, and we will click the Next button to continue. From here, I need to configure what kind of device is going to manage network connection requests by clicking the Add button. The device I configured in part 3 of this mini-series of videos was a wireless router. In Microsoft NPS, this is known as NAS, which means Network Access Server. With it selected, I will click the Add button. And then, from the middle set of options, I'm going to select both the wireless and Ethernet options. I'm selecting wireless because the access point I set up in my third video was wireless. I am also selecting Ethernet to give me the flexibility to add a radius supported wired switch later. I also need to select these access point types in the set of options below. Note that Ethernet is referred to as cable and wireless is wireless other. I will now click the OK button to continue, followed by the Next button. Since I want my PEEP policy to allow authenticated users and devices to connect, I am going to select the Access Granted option, and will then click the Next button to continue. To ensure that my network policy is as secure as possible, I'm going to select all of these less secure authentication methods. This is because current Brother print, copy and scan devices that support RADIUS authentication don't require them to be enabled. I am now going to click the Add button to add the PEEP authentication type which in Microsoft NPS is called Microsoft Protected EEP PEEP. To confirm, I need to click the OK button. In my next video, I'm also going to explain how to set up Zero Trust. To do this, I will need to export a copy of the server's CA certificate, which I will do later. I also need to ensure that it is selected in this policy, which I can do by selecting this PEEP option. I'm clicking the Edit button. From here, I need to change the server specific certificate, as currently selected here, with the CA certificate, which can be used to verify this server's legitimacy. To confirm, I need to click the OK button. I will also click the Next button to keep building my policy. I can now accept the default settings here, so we'll click the Next button again. And again here. To build my new policy, I will click the Finish button. Here is my policy. Before it can take effect, 
I need to restart the NPS server. To do this, I will right click the NPS local option and click the stop NPS service button. To restart, I simply need to right click the NPS local option again and click the start NPS service button. In this section, I'm going to export the CA certificates which will be required to demonstrate zero trust in the next video of this mini series. If you do not require zero trust, then you can skip this section. To do this, I'm going to click the start button and type C-E-R-T-M-G-R, -E all in one word. And then click the manage computer certificates option. This will load the local computer certificate store. From here, I need to expand the Trusted Root Certification Authorities option and select the Certificates sub-option below. I am now going to double-click one of the two CA certificates and then click the Details tab from the Certificates window. From here, I need to click the Copy to File button, which will open the Certificate Export Wizard. To start the export, I need to click the Next button. Since this certificate will eventually be uploaded into a Brother device, I need to export it in Base64 encoded X509 format. Before clicking, the next button. I am now going to specify a file name and location for where I want to export the CA certificate to. Before clicking the next button again. And finally finish. To confirm the export, I need to click the OK button. The exported CA certificate will now be exported and look something like this. To finish, I need to click the OK button, which will return me to the local computer certificate store. I can now close it and move on. To summarize, first I created a PEEP network policy in Windows Network Policy Server, NPS. I then exported the CA certificate in order to help demonstrate zero trust, which I will do in the next video. A link to it is now on the screen. Thank you for watching.